have a dream That's all I need I'll make it happen with some work and belief Okay, so we are the second part So first we talk about the idea What do you really need? The second part is the design Yeah, the design What platform do you need? This is really important And it's not something you skip Because let me give you a nice example about this Let's say you have um, you want to develop a website and it's expensive to do it in your country. So you go to um, Fiverr or whatever um, platform, you hire some Indian people that develop your website. I'm not saying the skills are bad or whatever. Most of them are good. Some of them are bad. But what I'm saying is the following. They offer you something. So see it like this. They offer you something. Give me a second. They offer you something and you can accept it or not. Most of the time they skip step one and two and that's really difficult. Yeah. Because they offer you uh, something and you need to accept it or not. And you don't have a design factor in that. So they say, you say to them, hey, I need a website. They're going to say it costs this much. You'll be like, oh, it's going to cost me this much. I'm going to get everything that I want. Doesn't work like that. Because they will make your website. And I'm going to tell you what most of them do. They choose the most platform that's convenient for them where they have experience. That's one thing. And second, let's say they choose a platform where they have an experience with this platform. They get a template. They get a template. And most of the time they use the template to create your website. And they ask you money for that. So let's say you pay, um, let's say they pay $60 for the template. And they ask you $900 for the website. The profit is high. You just pay them to put your information on the website. That's technically it. There's nothing wrong with this. This is how some people do business. There's nothing wrong with it. But think about it for a second. Does this really solve your problem that you discussed in the, um, one? No, because most of the time they just choose a platform that they are familiar with. You need to look at the platform that you are familiar with. And you need to look at the platform that you really need. Something that you're familiar with and something you need. And sometimes there will be situation that you are not familiar with the platform, but you will need it because it's convenient for your customer. I hope you understand that. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're familiar with WordPress, but another platform is much better for you and your customer because it's for easy for them to buy something on that platform. And a lot of customers know already how it works. So you cannot use WordPress just because you're familiar with it because the customer are paying you. So would you use WordPress or would you use the, the other one? You understand what I mean? So think about these things because these things are really important. So if you look at this, most of the time in this phase, you need consultation. What do I mean by consultation? You need to talk with someone that has experience, a developer, doesn't matter, it's consultation. Yeah? Unless you can do your own research and you know what your customer need or not. Both time, it's up to you. It depends also on your knowledge. So. You can get consultation or you can do your own research yeah research can also be like you have a lot of customers and you know what they want you also know about a lot of platforms that you can use in order to build so you have the basic understanding of web development yeah what you need to keep in mind is if you need consultant so of someone that wants to build your website so this is you And this is the other company or developer. So we have other developer of company, doesn't matter. They can build it for you. And let me take, I tell you guys something. Sometimes when you go on Fiverr or whatever, you see a lot of um, people, they say they have a lot of team, but it's not true. They have a lot of people, they have a big company, they have a team. That's not true. Why is that? Because on Fiverr they give you the option to create a team 
so technically it's it is true but it's not true because you don't have a big company where you have a team working there so it's easy online to create the idea that you have a big company with a lot of people and um, behind you to create something well that's not true even if you work on Viver in a team, there will be issues that you don't have when you're in a real team. For example, someone doesn't show up or someone doesn't meet the requirement or someone doesn't meet the deadline. So when you have a team or when they say they have a team, ask more questions about it to confirm it. If they have a team, show everybody on the screen. Let's see if they are all in the same city. You can check all those things. But if you are getting a consultation most of the time you need a contract for that it means you have a designer you found a designer of a developer and that's not a problem with this i will explain it to you later but you have a designer it's not going to design it's just consulting because what you need to keep in mind is when the designer designs something for you that doesn't mean the developer can implement it in the website keep that in mind so Two and three is really important, but it's not something that you can combine just like, hey, this person, let's say this person is going to design it, person A is going to design it for me, and person B is going to develop. Unless they work long time together, they know how to um, do it, it's good. But if they do not know each other, it's hard. This is a problem that you always see. Like they hire someone to design the website, everything. But when you go to the developer, the developer will be like, hey, we have our own designer. Because if someone else designed it, I'm not sure if I can create that. So most of the time when you hire a designer, make sure that the designer is connected with the developer. I hope you understand that. So if you look at this, when you hire a designer, you need to have a contract or a consultant, you need to have a contract. In a contract, you need to make an appointment. You need to make an agreement about how much it's going to cost you, what they're going to deliver, what is the consultation about, what problem do they need to solve, what can they advise you, will they recommend you to someone else for development, do they know developer that meets the requirements that you really need to solve your problem? Because when they give you some solution, someone needs to execute it and most time it's developer so when you have a consultation try to figure out if they can give you some advice about who can develop this or not yeah and if you hire a designer so design the same story if you hire a designer make sure the designer is connected with the developer because most time they can give you one package and they can design it you can say yes or no and then they can also design the website you understand what i mean so consultation is really important. Consultation is really important. So there you know what platform you need, what you're going to build, and what problem you're going to solve. What you really need is in a consultation agreement. If you want that, you can just go on Discord. You can ask me directly. If you hire a designer to design something for you, you need to ask some specific question. But also in that situation, you can just go on a Discord in the law center. You can ask me question about it, but you can ask. So just remember, this is you. You have a contract with a company or a person. If it's online, make sure you have uh, the the information about the person or the company, so they can sign the things. Because when something goes wrong, you can go after them. And most time, people just sign something online and it's crappy, and you don't want that. Yeah. So this is the part where you talk about consultation and design. We're going to go to number three, where we talk about development. So if you have question about this, you can just go on the law center here, this link, you press law center, you go there on Discord, you can ask me questions directly. If you want to support the stream, you can press donate now and you can support the stream. If you find this information useful and you want to buy me now coffee, just press the link and you can buy me coffee. So if you have questions, just go on the, um, on the Discord and ask me. We're going to talk about number three. I have a dream. That's all I need. I'll make it happen with some work and believe. Know what I want. So I'll take it on. I'll 
I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be